The New York Knicks went from good to bad without anybody noticing. The Knicks had players playing for them like Carmelo Anthony, Jeremy Lin, Patrick Ewing, and they all now left or retired. Knicks fans were dying for success and their own fans would be happy over a draft pick within the past couple or numerous of years. But some of their draft picks have been pretty good. And moving on to today's era of Knicks basketball, they really have a good team with success from last season. This guy, Jalen Brunson, just needed a bag to get paid and to even lead the Dallas Mavericks. And for a guy last season that was playing better than Fred Van Vliet, he gave him a spark off that starting five unit as the Knicks needed it tremendously. For the Knicks, they haven't had a good point guard for this time since the Raymond Felton or Jeremy Lin era back in the early 2010s. With Jalen Brunson averaging over 20 points per game, being a spark on the three-point line, and being a good assist leader in this lineup, it will be a problem for many opponents with his ability to be a knockdown shooter on both sides of the court. Second, you have RJ Barrett with his resume from last summer as well. This guy helped lead Team Canada to a bronze medal with Shea Gillis Alexander and Dylan Brooks, and he helped us take down many teams in the FIBA qualifier that we needed to take down. These were teams like Slovenia, the USA, Spain, many other teams you can even mention. His efforts on the court do not go unnoticed, and just the way he plays the game will always be great. And for a player with high value on this team as a young player, he's really their biggest pride asset. For RJ, his efficiency this season is looking really nice, and it had to have some New York Knicks fans very happy and impressed on his development. With Mitchell Robinson, Emmanuel Quickly, and Quentin Grimes coming back to this team, the scoring on this team will be very good and productive for both units. With the coaching from Tom Timmondo, if this team plays together and they buy in collectively, this can be a cohesive unit and be a well-run team if all expectation goes well. And I hope really Julius Randle comes out of his struggles right now because this guy is having a miserable season, but I hope he picks it up because he played very well against the Clippers last night. In the East, being pretty much wide open, if they can give a team a run for their money, like the Celtics or the Bucks, I'm pretty sure he'll make the playoffs again and get past the first round and maybe make an Eastern Conference final if that all comes true come playoff time. But that's my thoughts on the Knicks and how they can be good this season and my expectations for the team and just my own thoughts. I'm pretty sure they're at least a good defensive team last season. They're pretty much a, a well-run offense, and Tom Timido always had a good team that are very ran on defense. So that's what I got to say for the next basketball, and I'm out. And if y'all want more videos on other NBA teams, let me know, and I shall do them. Thanks for watching.